Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, we will learn about uh, what is all about entry criteria and what is all about exit criteria in software testing. First, we will try to understand what are the various criteria which we require to be follow for entry criteria for software testing. The first criteria is in order to start the testing for a given application, that application should be developed, built and that application should be ready for testing. That is the first criteria for any software testing project where application required to be ready to test the project. And the second one is even our test data also to be ready without writing our test cases and test data, we cannot execute the test cases. Plus, we should also have test environment readiness also should be there in order to start the testing. One is test cases are ready, test data is ready, test environment is ready. And uh, third one is, as we discussed earlier, test cases also required to be created and those are reviewed as well as approved as part of the entry criteria and the fourth entry criteria is in terms of all the resources which are required to perform the testing including hardware requirement hardware could be your desktops different operating systems computers and mobile devices everything come under hardware resources and also what are the various software requirements we have for a given application, even those software required to be available, even what are the various test tools will be required to perform the testing, even those required to be available plus configured as well. That is the fourth important entry criteria in order to start any given uh, software testing for a given project. And the next one is even in terms of test environment, and even uh, user account required to be created because certain uh, test data, user creation and environment configuration, even those required to be completed in order to start the testing. Even testing team required to be trained, especially if the testing team is very new in the organization, then uh, this is very crucial aspect in terms of uh, preparing our testing team to make a journey in terms of uh, test executions uh, producing the test results. And again, all the required approvals or sign up should be obtained. And the next one is in terms of test plan, test strategy, test uh, charter, required to be reviewed and approved because these are reviewed by the various stakeholders including development team, development manager, our uh, business analyst, our uh, product owner, and our various architect, they will be reviewing the, what is our overall approach in testing for a given uh, project and what are the various testing charters we have in terms of um, resourcing, in terms of uh, estimation. Everything will be reviewed and if they approve it, then only we can start our testing. And the next one is, if there are any dependencies, those dependencies required to be made including uh, external systems. Then we will try to understand what are the key exit criteria for a given software testing project. The first one is all the planned test cases have been executed. That means whatever we have created, whatever we have planned, whatever which are approved test cases, those test cases require to be executed in order to exit the testing project. And the second one is whatever the defects we have found that required to be documented. If without documentation, it is very difficult to analyze or take in those evidences to develop any test closure report, test summary report that becomes very difficult. So again, the second is the, this is exit criteria. And the third one is code coverage. Enough code coverage is uh, covered as part of uh, uh, exit criteria. It could be unit testing or it could be system testing. Our test cases should be good enough that it is going to cover complete uh, code coverages. And, and the fourth one is all the 
i priority i priority means uh, uh, severity 1 and severity 2 defects are uh, those are fixed and addressed so that uh, we can uh, certify from the testing team and the next one is once the test executions are done and our testers job would be they have to restore the test environment and they have to keep it back to the initial status so that uh, those environments can be used for further uh, releases that is also one of the criteria we should meet as part of our test exit criteria and also all the test results have been documented and reported that is also very much essential in order to meet the exit criteria and all the necessary approvals and sign offs required to be obtained before we are signing off from the exit criteria and the testing team uh, are completed all the test case activities lesson learned documented everything required to be done as part of exiting from the testing project the next one is all the test deliverables including test plan test reports everything required to be shared with the all the stakeholders from test plan to test closure everything required to be shared with the stakeholder to get the sign off so that we can exit the testing project and uh, once we are done all these things then we can call that out our overall testing phase is formally closed.